Hi again, everybody. Welcome to another AP Calculus BC video from Unit 6-BC 6, 6. Review Example 3. We're going to keep looking at problems that uh, deal with some integration techniques from AB Calculus. Each one probably gets a little bit trickier. In this Example 3, we got a weird integral that involves an A squared minus a U squared denominator. So let's take a look at it. That particular question uh, has an x squared in the numerator and a 16 minus x to the sixth in the denominator under a square root. Now, that may not look like an a squared minus u squared initially, but it's going to have those same properties. Now, in the, immediately I would hope that students would be able to dismiss some very common strategies like just straight u substitution. There is no way that we could take the derivative of this bottom expression and expect to get an x to the second. It, it's going to produce an x to the fifth, obviously. So we have to dismiss that idea. Now, if we start thinking, oh, wait a minute, what's half of that power of 6? Well, that would be a 3. Oh, well, what's the derivative of an x to a third? Well, that could produce an x to the second. So you're going to have to figure out a way to split these. You're going to have to call 1 an a and 1 a u. And that's exactly where we're going to go with this. And seeing that that is the case, the a would be 4 and the u would be x cubed. Now, remember, you would let the a squared be 16 and the u squared would be the x to the sixth that you see there. All right. Now I wrote or copied the three oh, not so fun integration uh, formulas for inverse trig words over here to the right. And you'll see that once again, we're flirting around with formula number 18. It's just that we have some issues to take care of. And those issues involve, we have to take the derivative of this u. Because in doing so, we get a 3 times x squared with respect to x. We didn't want that 3. That 3 just kind of came out of nowhere, right? We don't see a 3 up here, but no sweat. All we've got to do is offset with the reciprocal of that 3, and everything is going to balance out. And then there's nothing left to do but write the answer, you guys. Because you've established that this is an arc uh, sine form, you know that arc sine does not have the 1 over a in front, so we don't want to put 1 fourth in front. That would be bad. We just jump right into the arc sine. And then we know we have u over a as our argument. And then we can just finish this up with a good old plus c. And really, that's all there is to it. Once we recognized what the a and the u were and what our strategy was, getting the answer wasn't so bad. Let's check it with the TI Inspire. All right, so we got our software all fired up, ready to go. I've gone ahead and typed in the uh, definite or the uh, indefinite integral expression here. And it looks like we are ready to go ahead and hit enter and see what we get. Well, upon hitting enter, I am going to have to move my camera uh, window here so we can look and we see that we have the one third in front, right? And then that arc sign written as a sign with a negative one superscript of x cubed over four. And if you recall, that's exactly what we had back on our paper. So again, I can't emphasize enough. If you've got the means by which to check these problems, you certainly want to do that. Stick around, we've got three more videos that will cover uh, this idea of uh, reviewing really awesome integration problems from Calc AB. And then we have a whole slew of videos set aside for you that are gonna introduce the new techniques that are solely geared towards AP Calculus BC. Thanks for sticking around, we'll see you next time.